Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar from a technical perspective. So let's get started. Uh, looking at the uh, four-hour chart of this uh, currency pair, the range today uh, from this uh, dotted line uh, to this uh, point right here is pretty narrow. As you can see, we've had a lot of ups and, ups and down price action. And in the process, the price has moved above and below this uh, red line right here. Now, in last week's trading, we did try to hold resistance against that level uh, earlier in the week, uh, right here and right here. But then uh, started to trade above the level, but uh, then uh, traded above and below the level through here before moving to the downside. We came back up to that, uh, uh, that, that line right here uh, and uh, traded above and below it on Friday. And again, uh, traded here today, moving up and down uh, above and below that line. What's the significance of that line? Well, if we go back in time uh, for this uh, currency pair, and we actually look at this high right here, it starts right here where the price high came up to this this uh, red line and started to rotate to the downside. That's where it was started. That's where it started. And uh, then we moved above the level here, came down to the line right here, and, and held it right through here. So that's real. Uh, that's where it all uh, started to get even more support. And you can see the number of different times of the price tested that level before moving below that level in trading uh, last, not last week, but the week before, uh, but uh, failing and moving to the upside. Then we started to use that level as resistance here. And once again, traded above and below it at the, in trading last week, including at the end of the week where basically the price closed right on that line. Also in play is this uh, blue line right here. This blue line represents its 100 day moving average. And uh, even though the price had traded above and below this uh, swing level at 0.6522, uh, for the most part, the 100-day moving average has been able to hold resistance not only on Friday's trade, but also in trading here today. So both of those levels are in play. And as long as the price can remain remain below the 100-day moving average and even, and even better below the 0.65229 level, the sellers have the edge from a technical perspective. On the downside, the uh, 0.6499 level, nice little round number close to the 65 level would be the next uh, target. And then we'd look toward the low price from last week, which came in at 0 0.64687, uh, followed by this uh, swing area right through here, where we had swing highs right here, moved above the level, broke back below it, used that level as resistance again, uh, resistance again here before moving to the downside, then moved above it and found support against this level before moving to the upside. So that would be uh, the uh, the ultimate target, I think, in uh, trading this week on more selling, selling pressure. It's not that hard to get to that level. Uh, it's only about, I don't know, 80 pips or so away from the current level. So uh, it's certainly doable. We'll get getting below that level and then open the door for further downside momentum. On the top side, if we do get back above the 100-day moving average, uh, the, the bias shifts, okay? We're above the 100-day moving average. The sellers had their shot below the 100-day moving average here, 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 um, and uh, here. Uh, and so getting above that level would be a disappointment to the sellers looking for more downside momentum. And uh, in that case, we look toward the uh, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart and then the 200 day moving average up here, uh, getting above that level and also the 50% retracement zero that near the 0 0.6569 level would open the door for further upside momentum in this currency pair. So uh, sellers are trying to take control or keep control in the Aussie versus USR. We'll see if that can continue in trading here today. And for the trading week, my name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.